Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, we're gonna be talking about inter-crypto trading. And I got my good friend Ethan once again with us. And so we've been getting a lot of questions on how can people purchase and accumulate different cryptocurrencies and tokens. And it is frustrating because for the most part, it's kind of convoluted and complicated. Sure, it's also like, it, it's generally, there are lots of descriptions out there about how to get into Bitcoin, let's say, mm -hmm. but how do you get into some other kind of current, there's so many choices out there too, yeah. right? There are literally hundreds of cryptocurrencies that you can find. Last time I checked was find. like 834. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting up there, that's pretty high. But yeah, uh, going from crypto to crypto can be a little bit convoluted and different. So it, I think it would be pretty cool to describe to people some of the different options that exist. So once you, once you get into the crypto economy, you might be wondering, well, how do I get into, let's say Dash as an example, right? Dash is another cryptocurrency that exists alongside Bitcoin and several others in the cryptocurrency ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So the way to get to Dash there, would, you would trade Bitcoin for Dash and you have to find a platform that uh, facilitates that. You could actually even find a private seller. You could find somebody on the mysterious interwebs and and send them Bitcoin directly and they send you Dash or something like that, you could find that. You know, practice your due diligence so that you're not just blindly trading with people and then you're sending them off a bunch of value and they run away with it, that would really suck. But there are other options too, like uh, exchanges, right? So um, popular exchanges like Bitrex um, or Poloniex, uh, I'm, people have their different sorts of opinions about different exchanges and whether or not they work well. I, I know that for me, at least, Poloniex always seems to run into some hardware issues, seems kind of slow. I'll tell you something about Poloniex. The customer service is horrendous, and I hope they watch this and they realize they gotta upgrade their customer service staff. And number two, how the warning methods for letting me know that something's been disabled <laughs> is horrendous. So for actual respect for their customers and clientele, I give it a negative 10 out of 10. It's horrible. That, that is horrible. That is like a hardcore uh, condemnation. But whatever you think of Poloniex, uh, there are some things to be aware of, right? So first, hardware issues, customer service may not be up to snuff. Some people might not like how they treat their customers. Um, other other things like uh, Poloniex also, or any exchange really, can delist an asset without warning. So you could have cryptocurrency on a, on an exchange and suddenly it gets frozen, you can't withdraw, you can't trade it, nothing. So you have to be aware of that. And that's also one reason why you probably just don't want cryptocurrency on an exchange. If you have mm -hmm. a cryptocurrency, you should also have a digital currency wallet for that cryptocurrency so that you can keep it within your control so that you don't hand off control to somebody else. If you leave cryptocurrency on an exchange, then that exchange controls your crypto. You don't actually have it. Uh, I think that's a, a, an old piece of wisdom that's pretty uh, pretty relevant in the cryptocurrency space that a lot of people, it's, it's worth repeating, it bears repeating. Put it on a hard wallet, you know, there's a link below this video if you wanna get one that I personally use, uh, put it on a paper wallet. Hell, some of them don't have the option for a hard wallet or paper wallet, just put it on a standard hard drive. Sure, anything, anything that you yeah. control, that's the idea is that you control your crypto. Uh, other options though, aside from exchanges where you deposit an asset and trade the asset for other assets, aside from that, there are some other cool options like uh, Changeli, which I haven't used myself. Personally, I haven't used um, it either. No. But it, it's, a neat, it's a neat concept and the idea is you can trade crypto for crypto there. One that I have used is uh, shapeshift.io, mm -hmm. which I personally love. I love that service. You don't even have to. So the the great thing about a, a service like Shapeshift is that you don't have to maintain an account. All you have to do is have digital wallet addresses that you control. Again, about you controlling your crypto. So if you have a, a Bitcoin address and a Litecoin address, you can go to a, a service like Shapeshift. You can send it Bitcoin, and it will send you Litecoin. You, again, no address, no accounts required. No. Mm -hmm. No registration, it's all very simple. I think that's very compelling. And also Shapeshift has, uh, uh, is Prism that's coming up, right? Yeah, the, the reason why I like Shapeshift, there's a couple of reasons. A, the UX design is beautiful, Yeah. right? Very intuitive. Um, very intuitive. You don't have to register, sign up, as Ethan said. All you gotta do is say, hey, I wanna sh switch Bitcoin to maybe Dash. You put your Bitcoin address in, uh, you say the amount, I think the amount's like two, two to 4,000 max. Yeah, it, it depends on the method you use, but it's, like the minimum is something yeah. like fifty dollars or even less than that, and I think it maxes out at anywhere from two to four thousand dollars, depending on the method you're using. Yeah, per transaction, and then that's pretty instantaneous. They do it within a couple of minutes, which sure. is awesome. But another reason why I like Shapeshift is there's two things. A, they have a solid team. Oh. I mean, 
really, yeah, really. Yeah, you're talking about customer service at Colonia yeah. being bad. Customer service at Shapeshift is like top tier. Top it's notch. great. I yeah. love that. Eric Voorhees, which is like the CEO and the founder of Shapeshift. Yeah. And you got now the security specialist, Michael uh, Perklin, I believe it is. I can't remember. Michael P. I, I know it starts with a P, so I won't, <laughs> I won't butcher the last name, but first name is Michael, one of the best in the industries. And above all, they just got uh, Series A funding from VCs, $10 million plus. So they're, they're in this for the long haul, and as you mentioned, they just released Prism, which I think for like the general public is going to be wonderful. Yeah, Google that and keep your eye on it. Pretty cool. But um, just back to customer service with Shapeshift, there is one thing to be aware of mm. is if your transaction suffers a hiccup, which it can, mm -hmm. you're, you're essentially you're sending uh, uh, crypto assets to that uh, exchange structure. It does some auto magic stuff and sends you back cryptocurrency. Sometimes that auto magic stuff can kind of uh, have a hiccup. Yep. So. In that case, you have to send a support ticket in and ask them, you know, uh, what's going on. They'll typically refund you what you sent um, because it's somewhere, somewhere along the line, something happened that it didn't, the exchange didn't take place, whatever. No system is perfect. Yeah. But generally speaking, as far again, back to that customer service thing, that's where I think Shapeshift shines. But that's one service among many. There yes. are many different services out there. The idea is that once you get into crypto, you should look at all the options that are out there for changing into other crypto. Yeah, like for Shapeshift, it's just quick and easy, you're not doing crazy amounts of yeah. volume. Uh, but then you can do something like Bittrex, where you can go into Fiat, out of Fiat, hold it onto Fiat on the actual exchange, and then buy into different cryptos. Well, Bittrex, uh, Bittrex is, uh, they don't have Fiat specifically, but they have Fiat Tether. So Exactly, it's, exactly. And that's another thing to be aware of too, is some of these exchanges don't have any Fiat options, yes. right? So exactly. Shapeshift, Shapeshift doesn't, doesn't have any, have any Fiat. It's yeah, so we should have clarified. So Bittrex, yeah. there's something Fiat tighter, which is they represent the Fiat value. Yeah, and, and that's complicated in its own way to yeah. change it. <laughs> uh, yeah. But anyway, like I said, lots of options. There's so many options out there. If you want to get into crypto and you're looking at diversifying your sort of exposure mm. to different cryptocurrencies, uh, yeah, all sorts of platforms. We've mentioned a bunch of platforms here, but there are all kinds of platforms that you can access to change inter crypto exchanging. That's right. I like it. Awesome. We'll keep it at that. Like always guys, if you have a comment or question, leave it below this video and we'll talk to you soon. Peace. Toodles.